spun straight off the edge and straight to slip and Moyne Ali, who's looked threatening, has got Travis Head, a vital wicket. Brilliant from Moyne Ali, tossed up, getting the drive out the rough. Crawley. I think it was Crawley at slip that took the catch. It was Root, they changed it to Crawley. Head goes for 43, 264 for four. Start of the day's play, Spin was going to play an important role. Then all of a sudden, the change in the ball it zipped around laterally, so it was seen until the rain fell. And post that rain delay, Noreen Allen's been thrown the ball by Ben Stokes, and that is a pivotal breakthrough. Getting Travis Head for 43. He got it all right, didn't he, Ricky? Hey, good afternoon, Mel. Good afternoon, everyone. Yep, he did. Good shape out of the hand, just caught enough for the edge of that foot mark. Simplest of catches for Joe Root at slip. It's really interesting to watch Mitchell Marsh go about this innings here. If anything, he can be a little bit hard at the ball early against spin when he starts. Lunges on the front foot, got pretty hard hands. He's a naturally aggressive player. Will want to look to hit the ball. Yes, oh, he does no, straight no. away. He sweeps, sweeps well. Not wanting to allow Moen Alley to settle against him, Mitchell Marsh. Yeah, and he'll fancy himself playing this shot as well, Mel, because there's no 45. They've got a short leg and a leg slip, so that the trouble you have some, sometimes playing this week, particularly out of the footmarks outside off stump, is the extra turn and bounce and the top edge that does go to 45. He's identified that marsh, played a sweep early on. Forces backward point to go back as well. So they've got the same feel pretty much as what Australia had when Harry Brook was batting. They've got a deep extra cover and now a deep point offside. Just the one man deep on the leg side, a deep square leg. We get the over. Almost looking to give Marsh the single. There is protection. He's jogged the first. He will keep strike. Big over for England with the wicket of head, 269 for four. We've been patient, the crowd here at the over with that rain delay, wondering how many overs will be lost. How many overs did they still have to bowl? Importantly for England, they've got a breakthrough early. Joe Root was almost off celebrating prior to it, even settling in the hands. Joe Root's done the additional leap in the air for Moeen Ali, who's still got that groin issue. Fighting through the pain, discomfort, coming through with the goods. He caught it perfectly at the end of the last over. They were looking to try and give Mitchell Marsh a single. They want him to be starting against in the middle of this spell from Chris Wokes. There's been some movement there. Quite clearly been the pick of the England bowlers. Once again, Chris Wokes, two for 35. Three slips waiting for Marsh. Yeah, mate. That's what you want to see too, isn't it? Someone comes out new to the crease and they're giving him the single, the ball before the last end of the, the over and he gets out there, good stride. Quick call off the bat. And confidently gets up to the other end. It says over to you, Smith. Goes on the pull to Smith. Dissects the fielders beautifully. It's a great shot, that. 
And Stephen Smith, we saw the cover drive last over. Just about the shot of the day. And that one there is not far behind. Just a fraction short. He's onto it in a split second. In a good position early on. Finds the gap at deep backward square. Just starting to show even more intent. Looks like Stephen Smith wants to get on with a little bit more. Looking to pounce on any scoring opportunity. No run. What he said to Chris Wokes, who's been absolutely brilliant since coming into this England side with the ball, is if you get too full, I've got the cover drive, and we saw that just a couple of overs before, and if you get too short, I've got this pull shot in my armoury. So you need to get your length and line absolutely perfect. Oh. Yeah, it's actually what you're trying to do as a batsman. You're trying to make the margin of error lengthwise for the bowler as small as possible. They have, they have been able to pitch the ball up a little bit more today even because there has been a little bit of movement. Here's the Travis Hadwick again. It's the finest of edges. Basically just balloons through to root. One thing they certainly have improved over the last couple of tests, England, is their catching. It was a cause for concern earlier on in the series. Zach Crawley certainly led the way with his crisp hands and the slips cordon. He's really settling into a big innings for Australia. Wokes strikes again. Good seam presentation. Rough side towards the slips. There's a little bit of movement. And as you called it, Mel, the very safe hands of Zach Crawley at second slip. That is a massive breakthrough for England. Smith goes for a well-made 54, 274 for five. Australian cricketer dreams of playing in an Ashes series. I probably also dream of being right in the thick of it with a win on the line. Alex Carey comes out to the middle. And he is in the cauldron at the moment. last over about that leg slip being there and, and Mitchell Marsh would then go ahead and play the sweep shot not fearing the top edge have a look at they've done now they've identified that he wants to play the sweep leg slip goes back to 45 looking for that catch it's interesting he's set up to his first thought here Mitch Marsh is to score straight of field is a little bit too long. They've got their mid on probably about 10 metres deeper than what you'd normally expect, which is not an unusual position for a, a, a right arm off spin at bowling to a right hand. You can see bottom right of screen there, basically tempting Mitchell Marsh, actually pushing him back as I speak. As I speak there, it's going to go all the way back to long on. I actually think that's a better spot for, for Mitchell Marsh, because if he does go, he's going to get enough on it to get caught down there anyway. Catch that! One thing's for sure, there'll be noise each and every single delivery. What 
a catch. What a reaction from Bairstow. He's popped his fair share of criticism about his keeping through this series, but have a look at this one. Inside edge from Marsh. Look at the reaction here. Johnny outstretched right hand. He's got it. Great reaction, great catch, and a massive time in this game. Another breakthrough for Moeen, 274 for six. Smith and Head had the partnership of note. Since then, Australia have lost three for ten in 15 deliveries. To spin and seam. Two bowlers who did not start this Ashes campaign. They've come in mid-series. Moeen Ali and Chris Wokes. And they're the difference at the moment. Yeah, cover left open now as well. Stokes moves himself to second slip. Oh! Wicket maiden for Moeen Ali. Australia 274 for six. Just a little inside edge one just a ticker from Marsh. He knew it high on the bat. That's a great reaction. There's no way that that was ca carrying to Joe Root's slip. Thigh pad up onto the stomach. And what a reaction. What a catch. Big moments. Fine margins and big moments. That's what Ashes cricket is all about. And that might be one of them right there. No time to think about it, Johnny Bairstow, but it was just in the right position, right time. Feeding off adrenaline at the moment is England. What a run they've had. Now into the all-round skills of Alex Carey on strike. Very little yep. reaction time. Look at that. Marsh knew straight away. Johnny Bester was almost celebrating in the fall to the ground. He knew he had a good grasp of it. Carry away. We talked how patient the crowd had been all day. They're not anymore. They're up on the edge of their seats now. They have really come to life. Smiling faces all around. A lot of hand clapping. Trying to wheel their team forward. Trying to push their team to victory. Once again, a scorecard from Australia littered with starts and good starts. Three half centuries there. Warner and Kawaja were outstanding yesterday. A bit of extra movement this morning. The undoing of them. Chris Wokes, though, has been magnificent. Challenged every single batsman, picked up all the big wickets. Look at the wickets there. Kawaja, Warner, and Smith in the wicket column for this man on screen. Taking that so easily, Zach Crawley. It's to his dominant side. It has to be seven. Look how easy he takes this. Talking about his catching hands. One step to his right. Bang, right in the middle of the hands. So another one goes. They're on some sort of run here, England, as is that man, Chris Wokes.